What's going on guys, Major League Shooter here. In this video, I wanna talk about a topic that I like to call the unfair advantage. What is the unfair advantage? Basically, every single war, combat situation, defensive situation, prepping situation has to do with advantages versus disadvantages. So basically, if you wanna win a war, a battle, or a defensive situation, you have to weigh out who has the advantage and who has the disadvantage. The one that has the most advantage is the one that's most likely to win. So in order to win a battle or a defensive situation, say someone breaks into your house, you wanna have the most advantages possible. As a matter of fact, you wanna have so much advantage that it is unfair to the opposition. I like to call that the unfair advantage. Basically what that means is simple. If you are trying to, you know, say for a prepper, if you want to prep for a certain situation, like say you want to bunker down and, you know, live off of the house and stuff like that, off of uh, your bug-in plan or whatever, then you need to make it so that no matter what happens, someone tries to come into your home, you will always have the upper hand because you have the most advantages. Um, and typically, you know, that goes hands down because you are the one that knows your area the best, your household the best, the layout of your house the best. If someone wants to come to your house, you automatically have a advantage. However, uh, certain people, uh, like in combat situations, think that all they need is a gun and yet they have the advantage. Although that advantage might be slight, the fact of the matter still remains that just because you have a gun, it won't save your life. So you want to add more advantages on top of that advantage to, I guess you can say, fortify your survival situation. Basically what I'm saying is this, just having a gun won't save your life. Just prepping, you know, putting away food won't ensure your survival. Both of these extremities are, you know, important. However, they failed to neglect the whole concept of at what I like to call the unfair advantage. So basically, Preppers need to work with guns. Gun people need to train and work with preppers as far as like uh, uh, like gathering food and all this other stuff. If one person wants to do that to him by himself, although it's extremely hard and unlikely that they'll be able to pull it out, the fact of the matter is they could pull it off if they continue to stack their advantages. This is important to me because in order to win a fight, this is coming from a combat situation, in order to win a fight, again, you know, you have to stack your advantages. In most occasions in the military, we actually have the disadvantage because we are in a host nation and they have the upper hand. However, the reason we always seem to pull it off is because not only do we have strength and numbers, we have technological advancements, we have uh, fire superiority, we have air support and all this. So these are all advantages that we have that we stack up on top of each other to ensure a victory. That's not always the case. Russia tried the same thing in, say, Afghanistan and failed miserably. However, us, on the other hand, we, of course, until Obama decided to pull out, we were winning the war in Iraq and Afghanistan because we kept on stacking our advantages. So in that same situation, in that same light, it is important that every single individual does the same thing to ensure not only their survival, but their, the survival of you know, their friends and their family and stuff like that. So take this into consideration. Definitely I wanna hear what you guys' opinions are on this. Leave that in the comments box below here on the channel. Um, I definitely wanna hear what you say. If you guys wanna make a VR, that'll be awesome too. Uh, but that does it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. God bless you and God bless America.